All right, uh, boys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can play Xenazone Zero on PC using BlueStacks and why. So there's obviously the mobile version. There's a PC version, but the mobile version lets you play on BlueStacks, which BlueStacks comes with a bunch of little neat features. So first of all, you can have multi instances. OK, so I can duplicate this instance. I can get another instance, I can clone this instance, and then I'll have two instances where I have Zenith Zone Zero up. So it's going to be two BlueStacks windows. Okay, now once I do that, you can also use the sync operations. So you can play both of them at the same time. It's going to sync your clicks. So if you want to reroll, you can have like four instances up, which obviously that's going to be very straining on your PC. It's like running four phones on one computer. But you can run four of those or two of those or three of those. You can sync and that's how you can reroll if you want to reroll. Now there's no guest option, so I'm personally not interested in rerolling. I don't want to have to make like five different Gmails. But if you're someone that's a very dedicated free to play, might be you know might be worth considering now there's also the macro version technically you could try and record you could try and make a macro for re-rolling and then just have that going and then also there's the moments feature which uh, lets you capture clips which a lot of the clipping apps don't let you do on the pc versions of these games um, because they don't recognize them as like games in their own library but um on blue sex you can right and also you can play on keyboard in the future you'll be able to play on the gamepad as well you can set it up but mine isn't working right now might be because i'm using a gamecube controller so that's probably on me and i don't have a real controller i can use right now but regardless, a bunch of good features on BlueSex. It's very, it's definitely worth playing it on BlueSex if you're someone that cares about like very optimized grinding. So first of all, you need BlueSex. Okay. Now I'm gonna leave the link to this one in the description. It's the Zenith Zone Zero version. This one makes it run much better. Okay. Obviously, it's the, the latest version of BlueSex. It's optimized for it, and. The FPS difference I had from when I didn't have it up there to this one was crazy. I had like 22 FPS, I think 22, 24 FPS before it. And now I'm at like 60 consistently. Um, very smooth feeling. You know, everything is very responsive. Trust me. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys in a second as well. But first of all, okay. You get the BlueStacks version. And then if you've never used an Android phone before and, and you can't read, uh, you either go to the App Center and you type in Zenless. Okay, and then it'll pop up here. Or you go to the Play Store and you type in Zenless, okay? And a boom, Zenless Zone Zero, and you go download it here as well. Now, once you have it downloaded, you'll, you'll launch it, it'll have like a download attached to it, which you should do before. If you want to reroll and you want to clone your instance, instances, do the download before um, the, the whole cloning instance man management stuff, because then you'll be able to... You don't, you don't have to do it multiple times. You just have to do it once. You clone it. Boom. Now you have two instances. You log in on two different accounts and you cook. Okay. Now, I've skipped. I've watched the, uh, the tutorial cutscenes already so I could test the gameplay. So I, it actually will let me uh, skip it right now. You can also full screen the game if you want to. Hopefully this doesn't break my OBS like I did last time. Okay. Somehow it does. And I don't know why. But you can full screen. You can do this. And if you press F11, you can like full full screen it. But it won't show my OBS for some reason. Never mind, I got it to work. Okay, and then it's gone again. Wait. Oh, there you go. See? Okay. So I'm just going to keep it like this, I guess. Well, I don't like it full screen, to be fair. But um, you're gonna when you load in, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do this, and it's going to do a big 18 gig download, okay? It's smaller than the PC version. I'm thinking the PC version is like 36 or something gig. Like double, or like even more. Hoyo usually does this, where they keep the phone uh, size smaller, because obviously it's less textures and stuff to load in. The, the quality is slightly less, because phones usually can't, like run this um that well but obviously on blue sex you can and once you log in uh, you'll you'll have the cutscenes the game is really cool very full of all sorts like this definitely feels like the game has the most love put into it out of all the games it reminds me of some games i used to play like 10 years ago um brawl busters i think it's called and s4 league if anyone knows s4 league i'll kiss you in the mouth right now but I, can, I get to skip these because I've already watched them. Uh, you won't get to, so, you know, you'll have to. But you go watch them. They're cool. This game really is full of personality. Like, they really care. And then you get put into this, which is why I'm going to show you the gameplay. Now, I have it. I It comes by default set up with WASD and left click. Now, you don't want to hear my left click that much. I, I know. Um, so, I'm just going to do a very little bit of gameplay. Um, the robot's going to spawn here. We're going to kill the robots real quick. Um, or whatever these things are. And then... And then you'll, well, I'm recording right now, but you'll see the FPS is good. Um, the game feels smooth. Like, I don't feel like I'm hindered or anything. It runs nice. I like this. Um, if the PC version doesn't like, run well for you, then definitely try this as well. Uh, I actually haven't progressed further than this. I haven't even unlocked the other abilities yet. But we'll keep going. Um, 
I think I'll clear the thing. Okay, I get energy. Sick, which lets me do my fun attack. Yeah, the game, by the way, um, if you're a Hoyoverse fan, I'm sorry for you. And if you're a Ho Hoyoverse hater, then I'm also sorry for you. Why? Um, the game is really cool. I feel like the game is what people... Like, the thing is, if Withering Rice didn't come out before... Uh, this game dropped I think people would be less critical of it because weathering waves like the people coped so hard to the combat and like is like has any sort of depth to it that they can't allow this game to like like they can't allow people to like this game okay so there's a lot of like weird cringe going on online but that's what the video is about but just blue stacks so let me go off of the full screen again and have my PC capture it thank you okay now I'm gonna mute this because I'm sure there's a cutscene of some sort playing and I don't want to see this but you want to play this you can i set up your multiple instances so you can all, like all do this at the same time can you skip this too oh wow that's actually you know love to see it and then eventually you could get oh i've seen this oh there's still a tutorial okay well i'm not gonna play more okay but you get the point it's very simple you get on blue stacks and then boom right if you want to download some macros and you want to have like you want to set it up to be like okay i need five like five left clicks to clear this area and a dash because it's always scripted to like do this at this point and everything then you could do this okay if you want to get really freaky you want to optimize your auto farming repeat everything there you go okay um again the sync stuff if you have multiple instances which you can well, you can just do from here you make another instance you download again you click the sync button you'll have a sync at the top right you have a main instance and the other ones will follow that's really good and also if you're doing all this and you also have the macro setup you'll have the eco mode which will limit your FPS and it will like slow down your ga game tremendously if you are trying to do any sort of like auto stuff and you don't want it to use up any sort of your PC strength, right? Which obviously I don't want to do at the moment, right? So boom, there you go, it goes back to normal. So yeah, uh, that's that is on zero on PC on Blue Sex. I hope th th everything was helpful. Um, again, you can try setting up the controller. I tried. Um, it registered my inputs, but it doesn't work. I'm using a GameCube controller with a GameCube adapter from the Wii U. I, I think that's on me. But anyway, uh, I hope I hope everything was clear. If you do download it, let me know. And that's it for me. Good job. Actually, hold on. I don't, I don't think I mentioned it, but if you have BlueStacks already, you don't have to uninstall it. If you just download this, it will come up with like, do you want to update your current? Like, it'll just update your current. Like, it'll say, oh, current version of BlueStacks found. It'll just update it. And no, you don't have to run the BlueStacks X launch or anything. You can just run the regular BlueStacks app player. It'll work. It'll launch the X player by itself. You don't have to worry about that, right? You can just close out of it. And um, that's really it. That's really it. You download it and then boom. And then you can do the whole Zen Zero stuff that I said, right? Whatever, right? And you can you can like mess around your settings and your phone and everything. There's some other stuff you could tweak. Um, but it's like Android specific, PC specific. Also, I didn't say show my settings. That's probably something I should do. Now, I changed it to Vulkan. I tried all three. Vulkan uh, ran the best for me. They all ran well, though, to be fair. Uh, DirectX kind of was on the lower side. But OpenGL, Vulkan both run really well. But Vulkan, I don't know. I just had it on Vulkan. And it, it, it runs the same as OpenGL, to be fair. I think it comes to OpenGL. If you do have any issues, just try to Vulkan. Vulkan is, um, uses less stress on your CPU. Then interface render, you just want to put this on auto because if you don't, you'll get some black screens every now and then. Same with soft, like this one, you just want to have it on software. Uh, as for display, this is up to you. What you like, how high you want the pixel density. You have to like run, like see how well your machine can run it, and then the resolution stuff as well. You have to like change by yourself. Um, I'm not gonna change it. And then CPU allocation, memory allocation. Honestly, I would just take the max. You don't have to do custom and do even more, but just do the max because it probably won't use that much. But if it needs to for something, then you don't want it lagging. So just have it set to the highest you can and you'll be chilling, right? And then for the other stuff, it, it might not let you download the app. So you have to go to um, phone and then just choose one of the like latest phones, right? Just choose an end, high-end phone, right? Like you can just, just put the Samsung Galaxy to, uh, S22 Ultra. It doesn't change your actual, like how well the, anything runs, but it makes it so that Google knows that you don't have an old phone. Because if you have an old phone, it might say, it might say un... Um, uh, uncompatible with this device and then you can't download it but if you have uh, the correct phone it, it will work but yeah i think that's everything covered uh that's it for me yeah good job